So our vassals are still not super happy with all the wars we have waged currently, recently. That's fine. It's just one more war we need to have, my friends and vassals. Oops. I raised some troops right. No, that's not my troops. It's good. Okay, let's send my armies there. Let's call in these Saxons. How much troops do they have anymore? Ah, still enough to be worthwhile. And we do the same thing as we did before. Board and send. And sometimes we just send. Now, the great advantage of having mainly kings as vassals is that you don't have to go to too many places to get your troops in order. Because they're mainly at the same spot anyway. They all kind of spawn in the same space. Right, apparently I have decided against moving my own troops. So this will just be my vassals and my retinues fighting here. Which is just fine. How many troops are we fighting? Potentially. 8,000. And we have raised like 13,000. And another 5,000 from our ally, so... We shall not care. Is there any fleet that's not moving where it should? It'll be fine. We were defeated somewhere? Oh yeah, we did raise troops right underneath enemies. That's not... Too great. Link our armies there. Well, another woman invites us into her cottage. Sure, let's join her and have her come back to our court as well. I mean, apparently that's all we do in old age. Acquire lovers. All right, so our holdings are getting too big because we are infirm. And that's not too great. Where are you going? Okay, we'll leave these here because apparently this is going to happen again. And just move decent amount of troops over to the mainland and everyone else stays here right let's move them in And let's move them in as well. And stand these down. Another learned man at our court. Oh no, he's a spy. Okay. Good enough. I don't really want to fight some stupid raiders there. But let's make sure nothing weird happens as we do. Oh 
Why do they have to be here? Has our siege guy finally died? I believe he has. What a shame. Let's have our allies siege this. Honestly, we can't stand down our ships. We don't need them anymore. Someone is going off on an adventure. Let's see if we can't find someone who is good at siegecraft. Doesn't look like it. Huh. My lover is pregnant. I am infirm, almost 70, still bearing children. Amazing. They has not arrived on the island. Where are his troops? <laughs> Alright. Ripped pillows, broken furniture, shattered vases. My marriage to Order has devolved into an unending torment of bitter arguments. But I am comforted by my lover, so I gain a plus one health for another year. Amazing. This is such a great man. Spend some gold on our holdings. So we stay strong. He's not having any friends join him. Suffolk proper prospers, lovely. And I must visit my lover. And my other lover is also pregnant. Man. This guy. His age is not keeping him down. Alright, he finally converted the majority here. Let's keep doing what we do best and convert, convert, convert. Alright, he's attacking. Uh, we shall put our best leaders in here. As he comes to attack and we shall move our troops as soon as he's locked in. Now he's locked in. So let's have him attach. Maybe he moves as well. Yeah, he does. So this is going to be a clear cut win for us. In time. The daughter was born to me. Uh, honestly... Hmm... Let's acknowledge her. So we're already winning this, but of course, having the Saxons join at the last second there... 
does make it a certainty. And now we need to quickly split our troops. And have the Saxons do something else. So we don't kill each other with attrition. This is why you go slow in wars. This is why you really want to make sure you know what you're doing. And don't rush into things or away from things. Can get out of hand quickly. Then what you're gonna do? So what I try to do if I siege in multiple places, I always keep them adjacent. So they can switch quickly between counties, help each other out. So this is what you wait for in a really large empire and kingdom. You just wait for them to break. They're going to break eventually. Almost always just a matter of time. So we don't see anyone attacking the Saxons, potentially. God. Our dog is killing one of our... ...great minds. Child lacks a focus. Let's acknowledge her. And you shall become... Faithful. Maybe in mine? No, you're not mine. At the age of 70, two bastard children. Isn't it just insane? <laughs> Honestly. Our son is a holy warrior and a homosexual. Well, he's done the bloodline proud, so I don't mind. Minor enemy troops propping up here and there, attacking us. All good. More minor titles to be put around. Any woman at court, she does. Yeah! Our wife shall be our court jester. That is. quite perfect. Our grandson shall be the master of the hunt. And our great grandson shall be our cupbearer. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you going away? I don't agree with your choice. Stop it. How many troops does he have? Uh, he's a bit of a threat still without the Saxons. Attach! Stop running away, doing your own thing. Well, off to another hunt at 70 and infirm. What is going on with this man? Oh, no, 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 no. There's a larger army there. Okay, let's check out. Plains, forest. We should try and force a fight here. If we can. Once these sieges are done, we're going to combine our armies. Oh, wow. A great diplomat and crusader joins us. That's amazing. We get all these people for free. Just come. There's some forest here too. Now we are going to siege where it makes sense. Strategically. Ah, oh, he's fighting some sort of rebellion. It's my own failure that we're not getting the hunt done. Now obviously he can't put too many forces on us. Our court chaplain is a bit of a ass, apparently. Well... Understandable he is. Let's have him continue. Because he's good at what he does generally. So once he's taken care of this uprising, he should be fine coming back. I hope. And the fact there's there's constantly these armies popping up all around us is a good sign. 
that our enemies war at different fronts are not going too well. Because he's he, he keeps raising his armies. Let's have him siege here. Right next to us. We are well protected and prepared for any eventuality. Broken a siege there. It's fine. Oh, he came just in time. So let's move out here. Put ourselves in a little bit of danger, but this hits, this is a hilly terrain, so it's good for us in defensive manner. So we should have our flanker on the flank, despite his absolute amazing everything. Have the moral defense guy in the middle. And let's spend some gold. Oh, we should probably bring this army over at some point or stand it down. One of the other. They have done nothing. Yeah, let's bring them in. I'm not too certain about this army there. So these ships should be enough. Combined with these ships. Let's not leave it up to chance. He's not going to land more troops at home. Let's have some more armies that we actually control ourselves to make sure nothing weird happens. God, my duck just keeps killing people. Oh, he keeps me alive, so all is good. More people are being converted, and who are you fighting? Oh, an uprising. Oh no, you're also... ...fighting in the great conquest of Aquitaine. Interesting. Navarra has freed itself? What are you? Germanic? Amazing. Why is my great guy... Why was he... Why is he a heretic now? Good, he has seen the error of his ways. Silly man. Giving me such grief. And there we go. It was just a matter of time, to be honest. Now our heir... The king male peer of France... You have lost nothing, but there's a bunch of pretenders for a lot of things out there, but it's fine. A shining example of diligence. His duty was never neglected. A godly man is with the Blessed Virgin now. At the age of 71, he has done so much for the dynasty. So much indeed. And we're already old. Already an old man. <laughs> right, let's see. Of course, who was a fan of my father's might not be a fan of me. At least to be expected that there's some issues. So let's get this set up real quick. Set the crown focus in the right place. And we shall crown ourselves. Uh, once we are at peace, which we shall be soon enough. But there are some minor titles to give around. Check. 
Our designated region shall be our son. Our court physician shall be this guy. Our court dwarf shall be this man. Our tutor. Oh, she's great. My wife is great. She shall be our court tutor. We have some better commanders, maybe? No. Slim pickings these days with commanders. But we've already almost won our war down in the south. The Saxons are still helping us, which is weird. But they're still forested, so... This is beneath me. What am I doing, anyway? What is my focus? Why do I have an intrigue focus, man? Riddle me this. We shall go for... Business. Not intrigue. Who cares for intrigue? Let's build stuff. Always keep building stuff. Safest way to secure the rule. Always be building stuff. Now oh, we spent a good amount of money. Are we a lunatic maybe? Nay, we're just a drunkard. All right. And there we go. Let us have some peace. What do we get? What do we get? Things. Lots and lots of things. There we go. And this down. Let's unpause for a second. Just move our troops around. Alright, now we need to take care of all of this. And... There's a whole lot of stuff that is all ours now. So let's build some smaller vessels where we need to. Luckily we... Oh, there. There are some. To be built. Alright. And over here, we don't need some smaller vessels. So, let's look to our court. My other sons. What do you have? Okay, let's grant some landed titles down there. This county. And he gets another county. Now. Something close by. MMM -M -M something. County of. No. Baron. There. Let's give him this. And. What else do we have? Some vassals around. How's our court looking? Mondo of France. Are you good at anything? Ah, you're not terrible. And you're gregarious. But you're old and you don't have ears. So that's not ideal. So who shall have all these amazing titles? Who's at our court? My steward. He's content. Still has time to bear children. So he shall give him this woman. And give him the county of Toulouse. And the county of Bourbon. No. Uh, yeah. And the county of this. Bourger. Bourge. And now he shall be king. Uh, I think I have to create the kingdom of Aquitaine. Shall. Because I don't want to control all of this. And I'm not giving my grandson this. My steward. 
shall be king of Aquitaine. Including all the lower titles. We've taken care of this. And I've given him basically everything down here, which was probably not the best choice. But that's fine. Let's get him. Ah, oh, he's already on the council, so it's sensible. Well, yeah, he's fairly strong. But he's given out a few titles. Because he can't hold everything himself. Let's wake our brother up. Oh, we're in no order. In a society? Well, we're even pretty far in a society. Not bad. Let's see what we can do about that then. Offer to join this war? Nah. Nah. Okay. Right. Uh, let's pick an ambition. What can we have? A war chest? Sure, let's build a war chest. Now let's see that we get coronated. And only the Pope is fit to coronate me. A red streak. Straight through the center of Europe. And there's a bunch of revolts popping up. Let's send our men home. Take care of the revolts. And we'll see about all of that next time around.